Hello everybody, this is Tim Troutman here with the National Weather Service in Riverton. Today we're going to discuss the winter storm that will be moving into the region by tonight. There is a winter storm watch that is in effect for the eastern range of the Wind River Mountains and the Lander foothills, including Lander, from late tonight through Thursday afternoon. Uh, as you can see from the first graphic, uh, the expected snow from tonight through Wednesday afternoon uh, at least into the lander area, you could be looking at uh, some amounts of uh, four, to, at least four to six inches, with some areas into the lander foothills approaching eight inches. Riverton area one to two, Dubois uh, two to three, Jeffrey City one to two inches in the area there. In the southern parts of the area, from Kimmerer down to Rock Springs, uh, Green River, and uh, throughout the rest of Sweetwater County. Uh, snowfall amounts ranging from one to three inches. So the, the snow looks to begin in the south tonight. It's going to spread northward. The uh, the winter storm watch uh, begins uh, and we are expecting the, the snow to really take shape in the lander area after 11 p.m. Dubois and Riverton around midnight and uh, that's going to continue uh, as we move into uh, Wednesday and through the afternoon. There are a lot of uncertainties with the amounts uh, due to the warm surface temperatures and the higher sun angles that we have right now in April. So uh, impacts could be varied across the area in a micro scale type of way. And uh, the winds could increase the impacts in the south across the wind corridor across especially Sweetwater County. So continuing with the event as it uh, moves uh, through the area between Wednesday night through Thursday night, you can see there in the lander area, an additional six to eight inches is possible. And uh, Dubois, an additional two to three inches, Riverton, four to six, Jeffrey City, four to six inches. And uh, generally speaking, up into the Buffalo, KC, Whirlin, Thermopolis areas, a good four to three to six inches, in some areas, four to six inches, Casper, two to three inches through this time period. So uh, within the uh, winter storm watch area, that includes the uh, eastern range of the Wind River Mountains and the Lander Foothills. Uh, and the Lander Foothills storm totals could be 8 to 12 inches by the time the event is wrapping up by early Friday, and uh, 10 to 18 inches on the east slopes of the Wind River Mountains. Northeast winds could gust as high as 35 miles an hour from Red Canyon to South Pass in Fremont County. We are also, along with the uh, the snow, looking at near record low high temperatures for Wednesday and again on Thursday with temperatures across a good portion of the area ranging from the low to mid 30s uh, across Park and down into Fremont County and then maybe like 35 to 40 range uh, through the rest of the area. And that will continue also with the snow on Thursday. So this heavy wet snow is uh, going to be the, the main factor as we move through the Thursday and into the early Friday time period before the, the snow begins to taper off across the region. So we are looking at, uh, you know, slushy conditions across the area and, and definitely in the higher elevations where temperatures are cooler. Uh, could be definitely some really slick and hazardous driving conditions across the region. So, you know, the important thing about winter storm safety tips would be make sure that you share your travel plans with friends and family. In our winter forecast is still, there's a, still some uncertainty to our forecast. You know, we are looking at probability wise, uh, greater than 70% probability at this time for the event to take shape. Uh, but, uh, you know, winter forecasts can change frequently. And, uh, you know, before you venture out, check that latest forecast, however way you get your weather information. Visit our website at weather.gov slash Riverton. If you have a weather radio, check out the latest forecast. Utilize your, your local media also in social media. You know, uh, check your road conditions. You can at uh, yoro.info on their website or you can dial 511. It's important to drive slower and give emergency vehicles and snowplows plenty of room if you're moving into an area there and getting on the road. You know, have an emergency supply kit if you have to do any traveling, and that includes a cell, a cell charger, flash, flashlight, a sand and cat litter in case you get stuck. You know, definitely bring along some water and snacks, a shovel, blankets if you have room, a jump starter. Make sure you have a tank full of gas if you have to make any travel arrangements and a first aid kit. 
If you have to be outside or for any extended length of period of time, allow for two to three layers of lightweight and warm clothing. It's important to cover up your extremities, which would be your, your ears, your hands, as they're susceptible to frostbite and stay out of the wind as much as possible. Again, uh, a winter storm watch at this point means that the risk of hazardous winter weather is possible in the near future. And for a winter storm watch in the mountains, we would be expecting possibility of 12 plus inches of snow in the lower elevations, possible six plus inches of snow. So again, visit our website at weather.gov slash Riverton. If you have any specific questions, you can always call our office at 1-800-211-1448. Everyone keep a close watch to the weather from uh, this evening through Friday and take care and be careful. Thank you.